Even though medical marijuana has been legal in the state of Ohio for four years now, this is the only place you can buy it in the city limits of Cincinnati. So industry leaders tell me starting up has been a slow process. They predict the next major change will come with the medical reasons you can buy it. Four years in, more than 125,000 Ohioans have a medical marijuana card, according to the Board of Pharmacy. And this year alone, that number has increased by the thousands each month. Seems like it's just really started to pick up. Um, which is why I think there is a long way to go. This Cincinnati mom got a prescription to treat post-traumatic stress disorder in 2019, three years after legalization. I know prices have come down a little bit, but they're still, for someone like me who's low income, they're not affordable. I checked. Some states like California offer programs to help patients pay, but Ohio has no bills in the works to do that. And that's where I found is going outside of Ohio to be the best option. Greater Cincinnati has three dispensaries. Have a heart since he opened nine months ago today, and general manager Darius Bobo says they serve 3,900 patients. Terminally ill people, we're talking about people who suffer from PTSD. In four years, the Board of Pharmacy has given licenses to 57 dispensaries, 33 cultivators, and nearly 700 doctors. Now, Bobo would like to see more diversity in the industry. We're one of two. Um, African-American owned stores in the state of Ohio. Have a heart Cincy workers say legalization has created more jobs, so much so the University of Cincinnati offers a cannabis course studying different careers in the industry. This is starting to become acceptable on a lot of levels. Right now, there are 21 conditions that qualify for medical marijuana, like cancer and Alzheimer's. Advocates expect anxiety to be added to the list next. The pharmaceutical board would have to approve that, and the governor chooses who's on that board. The governor has not responded to request a comment. And it doesn't really feel like it's getting anywhere. I do have a complete list of the laws you have to follow when it comes to medical marijuana in Ohio. You can find all that on our website, WCPO.com. Just click on this story. Reporting in Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.